हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ टू एक्सपोर्ट ए सैंपल ऑफ एरे ऑफ डेटा और जेसन इनटू सीएसवी फाइल एंड डाउनलोड इट एज ए अटैचमेंट इनसाइड रिएक्ट जेस एप्लीकेशन सो दिस इज अ फ्री डेमो ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन देयर इज अ एक्सपोर्ट टू सीएसवी बटन आउट देयर इफ आई हिट दिस बटन यू विल सी दैट सीएसवी फाइल विल बी डाउनलोडेड इफ आई ओपन दिस फाइल यू विल सी दिस नेम एज टीम यू विल सी ऑल दिस डेटा विल बी शोन टू यू इनसाइड perfectly inside this excel sheet so i will be telling you how to generate this data and how to use this library so first of all the library we are using is react csv so if you go to npmjs.com and search for this package which is react dash csv the very first link which comes in this is a package we are using here so it is a very popular package around 270000 weekly downloads are there so we will be taking a very simple example on how to integrate this module inside your react js application so for this you need to create react js project here so on the command line execute this command npx create react app and followed by this uh, module name which is first of all create a app any app that you can have after that npm i react dash csv so i have already installed it so i will start this application npm start so now you will see my app.js is currently empty so it will start this application at localhost 3000 so now you will see i am starting from clean slate so first of all we need to import this library so from react dash csv and inside this we need to import csv link this is a module that we need to import here after importing it we will be having our functional component and here we will say return and a simple diff which will say hello world and lastly we also need to export our component so we will say export default app so this will automatic hello world is printed out on the screen so now we simply need to have some data here so inside here we will declare some data which needs to be translated to csv file so this data can be anything this can be data coming from a api or you can declare on or your own array of objects so i will be declaring the first approach will be some data here let me rename to player's data so i will be writing here let's suppose the first column name so this can be anything data accordingly age and team as well so you can give as many columns as you want inside this csv file so this is an array of objects similarly we can copy this data some more number of times so we can change the names here and also the ages as well and let me have this so you can also provide your own api data as well so this is only dependent upon you
so after having this data guys you will see all the players are there 11 players so now i simply need to declare the headers this is very much important so this will also be an array so here we need to assign all the labels that we have all the columns so first column will be name and the key will be simply which is you have given this key here which is name so these label and keys needs to be different they cannot be same this needs to go inside its own object so like this So after preparing the headers, we now we need to simply create the link here, CSV link. And inside this is the object. It contains some properties. First is the file name. So whatever file name that you want to give, file.csv, it is totally dependent upon you. Then we will be giving the headers, which we have prepared here, headers, and the actual data. Data will be equal to players, which we have constructed here. You will see. So after that, the job becomes very much easy now inside this markup simply inside instead of hello world we will be having csv link here and inside this we will pass this object dot 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 followed by csv link that's it and now if you reload the application you will find a Uh, let me just see here if any problem has occurred. So file name. Let all the source code regarding this project guys i have given in the video description if you want it you can also cross check let me see the code here oh sorry i need to give it a label as well so export to csv so that is what was not showing here so if you now have this label now you will see this export to csv option is coming here if you click this option your file.csv will be downloaded if you open this file you will see your data is shown inside this excel viewer so in, in this easy way you can prepare your csv files download it as an attachment inside browser in react.js application using react.csv so now this is a thing here guys let me just comment this and let's suppose this data is coming from an API and you want this data for let's suppose we use a fake REST API which is JSON placeholder and many a times you are working with APIs so let's suppose we are taking this data this is the endpoint and let me copy this data control C and paste it inside our application so this API can be anything and again we declare data and inside this we need to paste it so automatically inside visual studio code it will convert this uh, json into array of objects so as i pasted it you will see it removes that uh, double quotes inside the columns here so if you are using a different editor it can't do it but if you are using visual studio it will automatically format it as a array of objects you can also use the method json.pass and pass this data and it will automatically convert from json to array of objects so you can use this method if you are using a another text editor now we simply need to modify the headers as well so header will be changing here user id the key will change here user id similarly the second is id keys id the third one will be 
टाइटल एंड द लास्ट वन विल बी बॉडी so after having the headers we simply need to now change this players from data here like this and now rest of the things will remain constant and now if you refresh the application if you click export to csv now instead of you will see all this data is converted to a csv file you will see so in this easy way you can have the data coming from a api or you can declare your own set of data it it is totally do don't matter you use this library it will convert it as a csv file so in this easy way you can construct csv files in the browser using react js application using react.csv the whole source code will be given in the video description if you want it and i will be seeing you in the next video